It's a boy. Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, gonna zoom out again. Gonna look around a bit more. Probably try and level up our Pokemon just a little bit more because I think some good things are getting close. So is that thing in the crowd there? I saw sparkling, but that might be just water or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's do a battle. Use Ember because that's effective. Can't be that effective. Wow. It might be because it's raining, maybe? Might have lowered the power of Fire-type moves, but I don't think that's the case. Use Lick. I think Lick has a chance of, uh... Inflicting... What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's fine. Flinch. That's the one. Flinch. But we're good so far, so... I think we're fine. Ember again. Slowly chipping down its health. Scary face. Lower speed. Prone Claw. Attack Rose. But that's okay. Oh, it's Accuracy Rose as well. That's okay because we're about to finish it off with Ember, so... There we go. Almost level 16, and... Not quite. It's very close, though. Very, very close. I think there's a Psyduck? Yeah. Now the trainer out in the rain. You'd think they'd know better than that. You go to the academy too, right? Let's pool our knowledge and trade tips after we battle. Challenged by Carlos the student. Tad bulb. Okay. I don't know what type that is. I'm gonna bite. Oh, it's got a ability called static apparently, so now we're paralyzed. I think if we use a physical move against them, then we get inflicted with status then. Please. Couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Mud slap. It's super effective. Oh boy. I guess ground is also effective against fire. Probably. So this is a bad matchup right now. His water gun. That's a shame. Shikoko fainted. Send out a different Pokemon then. Let me think. If it's using... I can't tell what's effective against it, can I? No. Um... I think it might be... Electric ground? Maybe? I don't know. I think electric is effective against water or... Maybe it's the other way around. Possibly. I can't remember what it, I, I don't know what it is, so I really don't know. Let's go with Ralts. Ralts. I don't know. Just go for it. Confusion. Nice. Thundershock. Let's finish this. Tadpole fainted. Is there another Pokemon? Nope. Cool. I should probably go to a Pokestop. Uh, Pokemon Center, that's one. How do you know so much more than me when it, we've been taking the same classes? I don't know. Ah, uh, but I'm gonna head back to town, probably. Quickly. Get some more lessons while I'm here as well. That's my thinking, at least. That's why I'm going to the... The city and not just the nearest... Pokemon Center or... Place that I can heal. Picnic place. 
Heal my Pokemon. All better now. By the way, did you know? You may sometimes see Pokemon icons on your map. When you do, it means you may be able to find those Pokemon in that area. So try to search them out. Good to know. Thank you for letting me know. Ah, uh, but now I need to probably go to the academy. Get some lessons. Learn things that I've never learned before. I also wonder how much of this area I can actually explore in here. I haven't explored outside of this area actually, so... Can't use Karate in here. But we can like go up the stairs and stuff. I don't know how helpful that is, but we can. Where do you want to go? Oh, there's a lot of places to go. A few of them have important stuff for us to look at, apparently. I don't know. I just wanted to go to class. It's fine. There's apparently a lot of stuff. Just everywhere, in every direction. Even to places we've already been to before. <laughs> what class would you like to take? And there's more classes now. Okay, uh... Well, so what happened to the other one? Maybe I have to do something else before I can do that. Possibly. Battle Studies 2. This music is so, so good. I'm gonna turn it down though. <laughs> another day, another round of battle study. Osu, let's get right to it. Is everyone excited about the treasure hunt? It's always a great adventure. You get to take on gyms, go to new places and run all over the place with your partner Pokemon. And while you're running around uh, out there, I'll bet you'll come across some big shining crystals fairly often as well. These crystals are actually collect uh, collections of tr uh, terrestrial energy that's uh, seeped up out of the ground. You can check out these crystals to battle Terra Pokemon with your friends or other trainers in a group of four. We call those battles Terra Raid Battles. The Terra Pokemon you'll face or off against in Terra ba Raid Battles are crazy tough. They sometimes act differently than regular Pokemon, so you'll need to be on your guard. Luckily, trainers can also use a special action in Terra Raid Battles, it's called cheering. And there are three different cheers you can use. The first cheer is Go All Out. It boosts the attack and speed attack, or special attack, not speed attack, special attack of an all ally po Pokemon. The second is Hang T Tough. This one boosts the defense and special defense of an all ally Pokemon. And the third, well, let's see if you can guess. This cheer restores HP for all ally Pokemon. What do you think it is? An explosive healing wave! Wham Bam Potion! <laughs> Probably heal up. That's right, maybe I should make you the battle teacher, huh kid, new kid? The third and final cheer is Heal Up. It's a real powerhouse, with the ability to both restore H HP and cure statuses. Well, status conditions, yeah, that one. It's the same thing. I'm just not reading it the way it's read. You can cheer up to three times during a single terror raid battle. Also, cheering uses up a turn in battle, so you won't be able to have your Pokemon use any of their moves when you cheer. In conclusion, try everything at your disposal. If nothing seems to be working, try cheering on your allies. Providing support for your team can sometimes open up a new realm of poss possibilities. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice just to really drive the point home, but I guess we're out of time. Okay. There's many lessons to be had. 
And so many rooms to explore as well. Guess I'll take math too as well. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy shopping? Buying tasty bread or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. In today's class, I'd like to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach. Ah, uh, you all... N n <laughs> teach you all about math. Okay. <laughs> That's, it's fine, I was continuing. I'm sure everyone here has visited a Pokemart at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are, are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 Poke Dollars each. Now then, I'd like you all to do some thinking with me here. One Pokeball is 200 Poke Dollars. If you had 2,000 Poke Dollars and bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford, how many would you receive? Uh, uh, 11, well, technically 10, but 11, tech, I don't know, 10. Oh dear, I'm sorry, Jeremy, I suppose this, I, this, it is, I mean, you get 10 Pokeballs, but also you get something, it, 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 different, different kind of Pokeball. You can afford a maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, if you purchase 10 or more of any type of, of Pokeball, you also receive one Premier Ball, a special white ball as a bonus. So, the correct answer is in fact 11. You... I... It's fine. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on a shopping trip, isn't it? I'm out of here. That's the bell, I'm out. If you're gonna trick me with technicalities and should have said how many balls do you get. I don't know. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Guess I haven't gone to that Pokemon po po Pokemon Center yet. So I should probably do that. Maybe check out whatever else I can. I can't fly from here, can I? Yes, cool. So I have to go outside and then I can... <laughs> Cool. Just what I wanted to see. Also, I wanted to also walk around this building to see if there's anything on the outside. Just quickly. Because we walked up and we just went straight in, but I wonder if there's something back here somewhere. There's a lot of area. Guess we can't go all the way around, can we? We can. Also, I'm, hope I'm hoping Render Distance isn't just going to have stuff in the corners for me to find, or something. Probably if I use the... the, like, w the, the, the fan in front of me on the map as a reference for what's rendering, maybe? Maybe that'll be accurate. Also, I don't think there's anything back here. Cool. It's fine. It's worth checking. We can get back here, so. There is an item over here. Maybe there's one on the other side as well, but not all the way back. A heal ball. I'll take that. Now to run all the way around. Okay, so over here, right? Surely. No, nothing. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, let's go to the... somewhere else. Also, it looks like this area that, that's over here actually leads back to the first area. If we were to walk over the hills. There's just everywhere to go. There's nowhere off limits, as long as we know which way to walk, I guess. But yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna switch. No, you're already in the lead. Cool. That's all I need to know. So I'm gonna go down here quickly. Because I think there is an item. 
around this tree. Maybe. There's also this here, so let's grab that. Max Ether. Antidote. Something down there. I'm tempted to drop down. I should probably focus on something and not just go all over the place. But I don't know. Can I throw a Pokeball? Yes, I can. I can I can start from on on Coridon, which is good to know. Rock rough. Uh let's round. Just use a normal move. It's not very effective though. That's interesting. Rocker off use sand attack. That should be good. That's a Pokeball. Nice. And level 16. There we go. Rock Ruff the Rock Pokemon. And I believe because Fukuoka is now level 16. What? Fukuoka is evolving! <laughs> Look at him. Congratulations, your Fukoko evolved into Crocala. Crocala? Crocala. Crocala. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's fine. So now, it's stronger, I believe. Probably. It has different stats. But basically, when a Pokemon reaches a certain level, if it's not holding an Everstone, it will evolve into a new form. Most Pokemon have an evol uh, ev evolution at least once or twice. But some Pokemon won't evolve sometimes, to, like legendaries probably. But yeah. So we have, yeah. Multiple forms for every Pokemon that we catch, possibly. Of course, if you don't want them to evolve, you just give them an Everstone to hold while they're going over the level that they would evolve. But let's go ahead and use Ember. Didn't do much. Ah, uh, Mudbray. Right, you're probably a ground type. Ground fighting? Well, I don't know. That was just a fighting type move. I don't know if it, it's what your typing is, but anyway. Ah, uh, let's use Bite. Mudbray's stamina ability. Made it flinch though, so that's what I wanted. Bite again. Just keep making it flinch so I can keep going. Defense Roast, that's not good. You stomp, ow. I don't want Crocolaw to go down this early. Uh, but it's good to know that the Pokemon that we've already caught have different forms because it means that we, we can fill in the Pokedex faster if we level them up. But that does mean we actually have to level them up. Or if we find evolved versions of, the, versions of them later on, we can also catch those as well. It's not very effective. But my speed fell. Let's try Water Gun, please. It's higher level than me, so I'm probably gonna die. No, it's fine. We're holding on. Barely. Hit twice because that's a move that hits mul multiple times. It's super effective, but not enough. Defense Rose. I'm gonna switch Pokemon again. Go Hopip. Cool, cool story. Double kick. Should be effective because I'm a flying type. So let's use... Hang on, I'm supposed to be catching this Pokemon. I can just throw a Pokeball. Not trying to take it out, just trying to use... Trying to catch it. 
There we go. Mudbray was caught. And if I'm running into level 16 Pokemon this way, I should probably go a different way. Draining Kiss. Steals the target's HP with a kiss. Uses HP as a sword by over half the damage taken by the target. Oh, we can get rid of Growl, so let's do that. Mudbray is just ground type, okay. Simple enough. Well, it was definitely going to be ground type, so. Just didn't know if it had a dual type. Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye. No, I've gone into a fight. It's a rock type, isn't it? Right. Let's switch Pokemon again. I guess riding Coridon is faster, but has a high chance of... Because... A high chance of going into a fight because it's bigger. But at the same time, you have a... You have more speed to go far... Like, past the Pokemon. Uh, let's absorb because it's super effective. Just gonna take this Pokemon out. Also, if a Pokemon has been caught before, you'll see a Pokeball next to its name. So you can see it's got a Poke Pokeball icon next to it. So we actually, or well, above its name, it's a bit to the right. So we've already caught this Pokemon before. And that's how you keep track of which ones you have registered in your Pokedex. Completely. Okay. So I'm gonna head back this way, probably. Try and get to the Pokemon Center. Safely. But also collecting items along the way. Glowing. Super Potion and a patch, pet, pet, Petcha Berry. I think the random sparkles are random spawns. Rather than set items. Pokeball. I'm glad we have so many Pokeballs. We haven't had to worry about that yet. The ground is moving. The, gr the ground is moving. Ugh. The ground is alive. The Earth is a Pokemon. The entire planet. Let's just go onto the path over here because it's probably going to be safer. Probably. Rostberry. Is that a Pokemon that I tried to catch, but didn't catch, I think? Probably? Yeah, it's a Smoliv. Uh, let's be very careful. And tackle. Good. That worked out really well. It was caught off guard and, couldn't, and can't move. Cool. Go Pokeball. But usually when a Pokemon evolves as well, it also gets stronger to go along with it. So if you don't evolve it, it could be less strong. <laughs> Hopefully nothing's changed since the last Pokemon game I've played. Grass normal. Height 1. <laughs> okay, up the hill we go. Just gonna ignore everything. Along the way. Probably. Well, I say that, and I'm gonna get this item here, aren't I? Because I can't help myself. Ether. I mean, if, it, if I can't see it until I'm up close to it, it's probably better off to get it when I can see it, so. But anyway, let's register this, uh, Poke Center. Poke Center? Pokemon Center. Am I shortening that now? I guess I'm shortening that. There we go. All healed up. I see that item. I want that item. Well, so I should probably check the shop part of this. For the back of your adventure guide from time to time. Though as you enjoy exploring. Okay. Uh, but I want to check the shop here because there might be some new items in the Pokemon. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. We should be good then, for the moment. I'm good. 
there's another item over there as well, but I'm going to leave that for the moment. Because I believe there's a thing nearby. Actually, it's over this way. Right there, cool. So I can actually grab this item along the way. I can do that. Grab that. Potion. There's actually a couple of items around. Pokeball. Super Potion. Okay, so this is a Psychic type. I don't know what's effective against a Psychic type. So... Uh... Po po Pokemans. Um... Mm, I don't think I have anything effective against it, possibly. Um... Let me go into the summary so I can check my Pokemon types quicker. Because I think if it was going to be anything, it'd be Dark, maybe, or Ghost. I don't, I don't know what's effective against it. I guess I should just probably just go with my strongest Pokemon and see how that goes. Here we go. Once we get out of the white void. The nothingness. Wow. Let's do this. Cool Pokemon. Uh, so let's... Oh, I have a dark type move. Yes, Dark is effective against it. Okay, cool. Good thing I picked this Pokemon, then. It's super effective. Just gonna keep using my Dark-type move, because that's gonna just work out really well for us. Also, like, I can just see it in the background, reflecting off of the crystals. <laughs> it's just great. Do that. Very nice. And done already. And I had assurance going to see if I could win the fight, but no. We, we're we good. We have so much health that its assurance won't help it. Let's catch. No? Do I need to catch? I guess I'll catch it. Why not? It might have some special typing because it's a uh, Terra Pokemon. So it might have the type, terror type that it, it is for this fight. Possibly. We also get all these items as well, so that's good. Just by default. So let me actually check what the terror type is if I can. Because obviously the Pokedex isn't going to tell us on this page. Uh, see the summary? Yeah, its terror type is Psychic. So that's that's why it's worth catching po wild Pokemon that you've already caught before when it's in a terror battle. Terror raid battle. Send the boxes though for now. But since there are 16 types of Pokemon that you can catch, it's probably worth getting some terror types that are completely different for if you need them. Now, I see the gym over that way. I also see this tower up here that I want to look at. I thought it was further away, but no, it's right here apparently. I keep pressing the wrong buttons because I'm... It's a, I find it weird that map is Y and uh, getting on to Coridon is Plus, I feel like those could be easily the other way around. Possibly, but I don't know. I, I, could, I could just be better if I tried better. Electro, Electro Ball. Nice. There is so much area here. <laughs> Look at all this area that I haven't explored. Oh, hey, that's a Pokemon. I've seen, I've seen Twitter. I know what Pokemans are. 
Throw. Come on. Th throw. Or maybe I can't just get into a fight immediately. I have to actually check it. Hello. Gimme ghoul. Gimme ghoul? I don't know. But it's actually inside the, ch the chest, I think. And that's what makes it what it is, I think. So let's do round. Doesn't affect, okay. I guess I'll use bite or ember, probably ember. Critical hit. Now we have the opportunity to catch it, so let's do that. Pokemon broke free. That was very quick. Use Astonish, which I think can make us flinch, possibly. It's very tempting to use a Great Ball. Also, I tried to buy um, some other uniforms or like clothes to wear, but we only have four school uniforms to wear for different times of the year, basically, based around that. So I don't know if we can get that until later, possibly. This is not working. Um, I could switch Pokemon and try um, to lower its health a bit more. I'm going to try a Great Ball. One, two, three, and got it. Very nice. It's a ghost type. I think that's the first ghost type that we've caught, possibly. Okay. Well, that's all that. I think that's probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.